Philadelphia gave us one of the best snacks growing up ever, the strawberry cheesecake bar. When I say this was a childhood favorite, it was of everyone's, and then they just decided to take it away from us. Why, Philadelphia? Well, guess what? Now we're about to get ready to relive that nostalgia at home. What's up everyone, it's Dion 191 Cravens. We're back with another video and we are creating that nostalgic childhood favorite of ours, the Philadelphia Strawberry Cheesecake Bar. When I say that was a favorite, like it was a favorite. Everyone loved that cheesecake bar. But then Philadelphia just decided like, yeah, nah, y'all can't have it no more. We're gonna take it away. That upset everyone. But with this easy recipe that I'm gonna give you today, you can make it at home and they're gonna be just as good. Shoot, probably even better. So let's go ahead and get to making these cheesecake bars and we're gonna start with our graham cracker crust. With a pack of honey graham crackers, we're gonna put these inside a plastic bag. You can do the old plastic bag method, use a food processor, or just beat it with your bare hands, but this is the best way. Or a food processor, like I said, take your trusty rolling pin and beat it. We're just crushing the graham crackers up into crumbs. Even roll it a little bit to finely crush them. And once all crushed, they're gonna look like this. Take a kitchen bowl, pour in your crumbs, add in a little bit of sugar, and good old melted butter. Give this all a good stir and get that butter incorporated. Take your baking dish, which can be a nine by nine or eight by eight. Spray with some Pam. and lay down parchment sheets. The spam, not spam, the Pam is what helped the parchment sheets uh, stick to the pan. Spraying a little bit more Pam on this sheet. It helps get this one to stick right here and you're gonna go across both ways. There we go. You're gonna add in your graham cracker crumbs. Give those a good spread out and using a measuring cup, pack them on down. Once it's all packed down, bake it in the oven at 350 degrees for 10 minutes. Take 16 ounces of Philadelphia. Come on, you know we gotta use Philadelphia for this. We're making their cheesecake bars. 16 ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese, fourth a cup of cornstarch, and our sugar. Start beating this until it becomes creamy. Also making sure to scrape down the size of the bowl to make sure you get every bit. We are now gonna start adding in our eggs. One at a time, no shells, mix. Second egg. Add it in and continue mixing. After adding in the eggs, we're gonna add in some vanilla a tablespoon and heavy whipping cream. Give that a final mix. Once it's all beaten and mixed together, it should look smooth and creamy like this. Now let's go ahead and add it to our cooled down graham cracker crust. With our cooled down graham cracker crust, we're gonna start pouring in our cheesecake mixture and just let it naturally just fill in. Tap to shake out any air bubbles. and to help keep it even. After tapping out the air bubbles, place it inside another pan. And we are gonna give this cheesecake a hot water bath so that it don't crack on top. And now you bake this at 350 degrees for 35 to 45 minutes. While our cheesecake is baking, let's make our strawberry filling. I got a thing of frozen strawberries right here. You can use fresh or frozen. These will work just fine. Don't get to add sugar because these are bleeding. They have plenty of sugar already. Add a tablespoon of cornstarch in there. Give that a good mix and we're gonna cook this on a medium high heat and let it cook down until it gets nice and thick. Okay, after it gets done cooking and it thickens up just like this, we're gonna take it off the heat and we are now gonna blend this. Put the hot mixture into a food processor or blender if you have that and blend together.
Uh, now pour it into a container and you're gonna have to let this completely cool off. Like this is going to have to sit in the fridge and completely cool off because it's going to thicken up and you want this to naturally thicken up the way that's supposed to for when we add it to the cheesecake bar. And after it's done baking, and you will know it's done baking that when you give it a slight tap in the center barely jiggles just like that, you are gonna let this rest. Like seriously, let it rest even inside this hot water bath that it's in. Oh, that's the timer y'all. <laughs> yeah, so just let it rest, let this come to room temperature, and then you're gonna sit this in the fridge for at least six hours to overnight. And sometime later, once you take it out the fridge from sitting and resting, this is how it's gonna look. One perfectly set cheesecake. Now it's time to pull it up out of here and just peel away the layers. These look, this is looking good. We're making bars, so I'll probably do like, if I do that, one, Uh, yeah, this seems about good. Cut straight down. One. And also make sure you clean your knife off in between each cut. And then you come in the middle and cut about halfway. Once all done cutting, you should get even bars just like this. Oops so that y'all can see even cheesecake bars and they baked up so nicely and now using a small spoon and being gentle what you want to do is take the spoon and just start hollowing out the center try to keep it as straight as you can be oops that's moving yeah keep it as straight as you can and you're just gonna Take your time hollowing out the center. Once you dig a small channel, that's how it's going to look. Like I said, you don't want it too deep or going down towards the crust. Once I hollowed out in the center, gonna take our strawberry filling. I put inside, I put inside a squeeze bottle. I cut off the tip <laughs> to make it extra large. Wait, but now we're just gonna spread our strawberry filling on the inside of it. Just like that. You could also use a piping bag if you want to do this or a spoon. I just feel like the squeeze bottle is more controlled. Once you have the strawberry jam piped into the center, we are now gonna take some white chocolate and of course using the best brand it is Ghirardelli. Just take it and start going across it. Just like that. And you are going to do this for all of them. And once they are done, this is how they look, y'all. Look at this. Philadelphia Strawberry Cheesecake Bar. We are, whoo, nostalgia recreated at home. Just look at this. Cheesecake, that strawberry filling, white chocolate. Ah. Uh, you know we all love these growing up, so let's go ahead. Hey, and it's time to finally try one out. All right, here we are at the end, and let's go ahead and try one of these. Let me pick it up one more time for y'all. Just hold up. Ooh. Let's see if y'all can see. Yes, that golden nostalgia growing up of these things. You cannot tell me that these were not magical. And you couldn't wait for your parents to buy these because these was sort of like a special treat. You didn't get them all the time, but when you did, oh, you laid down into it. So now let's go ahead and take a bite. I'm excited. Everyone, this makes me remember them childhood days, man, after a long day of playing outside, well, childhood and teenage, uh, long day playing outside you come home you eat dinner then your parents just surprise you with okay here you go i went shopping and i bought one of these and you were so excited now these were the snacks to crave now everyone loved these and then philadelphia they just took them away from us mm. 
nice soft cheesecake that strawberry filling the white chocolate this graham cracker crust right here to die for well, all right everyone that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed the stroll down memory lane from our childhoods it was most definitely worth it and it just brought back so many of those uh, childhood memories that i missed of being outside growing up and a hey, my generation millennials we had some of the best snacks growing up before they all disappeared but just know a lot of them you can make at home as well well so i hope you enjoyed this video hey make sure to remember to like this video comment on this video subscribe to the channel share the video but most importantly hey just show love to the video by liking it like this video like crazy please and leave a comment down below you know i interact with everyone but yeah, like i said i hope you all enjoyed it i'll see you in the next one peace